Hello everyone. It is Monday, August 20th in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's Monday, four more days till Friday. And for my good friend Justin Dimmitt, I'm trying to see if the theme song works. And I just figured out this is the live version. I will see if I can find the original. A great tune. Per request of my friend Justin, I need a title song. I need a song that plays every day while I do my show. And uh, I think beer is good for you. Classic by John Prine and David Allen Co. Definitely, this fits. Play it quietly in the background for the first few minutes to start the show off right along with, uh, of course, you know, you got to start things off right with my unofficial sponsor of the show and I'm just trying to mouse to this there we go so I can see myself on camera Oof. all right folks let's start right off with the uh, unofficial sponsor of the show my good friend Crystal Lloyd Dozani KJ Lloyd Organo Gold Coffee great way to start the day a great night to start the night however you so choose you see the address KJ Lloyd Organo Gold dot com for all your coffee needs, and this stuff is absolutely fabulous, and so is she. And then, of course, my good friend Wally Fortier, living right across the street from me here in Yeehaw, Texas, where men and men and bulls run scared. And uh, see, Wally's aluminum shaping process, not Wally's ass sculpting process. See, this, this, uh, all your aluminum art needs. I know, well, I know, Justin. I'm not going to be having my burps with that. I can't burp on command, okay? I wish I could. Now, Justin, if this doesn't work, let me know what I need to do. All right. So anyway, so Wally's aluminum shaving process, all kinds of aluminum art, awesome stuff. And of course, my good friend Tom Walk. Um, all your rubber stamps and signs, and they don't mind the numbers being shown because that's how they get business. So come to Abilene here in Yeah, Texas, and get whatever you need there. As you see, lots of good stuff. With that said, speaking of beer, the beer is good for you. And here we go. Today's beer of the day. Blue Moon Belgian White. 5.4%. Stuff is absolutely phenomenal out of Golden, Colorado. I know it might be a good way to end the show every day, but see, my my show is the beer and song of the day, and I always like to end my show with a great song of the day, and that's the only reason why I choose to have the uh, beer of the day and the, you know, the intro song, beer is good for you playing. So with that said, cheers and beers to all of you, or as they say in Japan, goodbye. Awesome stuff right here. Ah, wow. Better with an orange slice, though. I will say that. Good Belgian white. Phenomenal stuff. And, uh, folks, let's get to the birthday shout-outs. Only got one that's today and then one yesterday that I cannot believe I actually forgot to announce on the air. But let's give a shout-out to my man, Ray Lepard, Crew Dog, who I worked with in jolly old Japan. Happy birthday to you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Hope life's treating you well. I remember you're a huge Oklahoma fan. Oklahoma, otherwise known as Northern Texas. Or is Texas otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma? I haven't quite figured that out yet. Maybe Oklahoma is Southern Kansas. I don't know. But anyway, Ray, dude, hope to hear from you. Hope you enjoy the show. Missed the hell out of you, brother. A great man indeed. And to you, I salute. Cheers and beers. Down the hatch, right? Mm. Magnifique. Très magnifique. Very magnificent beer. Alright, now, the birthday I forgot to announce on the air yesterday. My good friend Dana Elliott. How dare I forget you? I had your name written down on the list to make sure I gave shoutouts, and somehow I looked over it. But then again, I was tired. I was buzzed. Pretty good, too, I might add. Because I did the show Sunday morning at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I was already like six beers in, so maybe seven. See, that Sam Adams Oktoberfest was going down great. 
Yeah. All right, so Dana, happy birthday from yesterday, my dear lady friend. And I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying life and uh, miss the hell out of you. And drop me a line. Let me know what you think of the show. And uh, I hear from you fairly often, and I love keeping in touch with you. And a shout-out to your lesser half, but still damn near equally awesome guy, my man Dave Elliott. He's a diehard hockey fan. Huge, huge, huge St. Louis Sharks fan in St. Louis? San Jose Sharks. Sorry, Dave. Haha, <laughs> just keep me on your toes. All right, I screwed up. Give me a break. This show is not rehearsed. I just shoot off the cuff, baby. It's the only way to go. All natural. That's right. San Jose Sharks fan, big time. And, uh, dude, I hope you're doing well. Sorry we didn't get to hang out when you passed through down here in Yeehaw, Texas. But someday we will get together and party like it's 1969 minus the acid. So, Dave, spoil your woman. Spoil your better half, Dana. And you guys have a wicked awesome day. All right? I will anyway. How about a shout out, some additional shout outs? I'm giving a shout out to my man, Comical Nav Dude, that I worked with here in Yeehaw, Texas, Dustin McGrath. He has moved on. And Dustin, I'll be honest with you, I forgot where you moved to now. I can't remember. I need to look it up. Shame on me for not doing my homework. Sorry, I was busy at work. But uh, Dustin, I just want to say, I haven't forgotten you, bud. Missed the hell out of you. You're a phenomenal, phenomenal worker. A great man indeed, and a pleasure to keep in touch with. And I hope you enjoy this here show that I've been doing since January 17th. Every day, nonstop. So, <clears throat> next on the list, a man who just moved from Mississippi to Tennessee, Memphis. Home of Beale Street, baby. And uh, I worked with him here in Yeehaw, Texas. A spark chasing badass. My man Dale Filkins. What's going on, brother? We keep in touch often. And I hope you're doing well. Hope life's treating you well. Because you know what? In the short time I knew you here, you're a good man. Okay? Hey, some jobs aren't for everybody, and I know they do better in different jobs. So I'm sure you're doing well. And uh, it sure appears that way. But, dude, pleasure keeping in touch with you. And I love beating you in all those apps, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah. All right. How about a shout-out? And I don't know why I haven't given this man a shout-out sooner. My good man, Mike Soule, I hope I pronounced it right, because I, I don't think it's Soule. I think it's Soule, if I'm not mistaken. And he plays with metal, scrap metal, sheet metal. That's what this man does for a living. He fixes it, he forms it, he builds it. This man can build it damn near anything. Hell, he ought to hang out with my boy Wally with the aluminum shaping process. But Mike, just want to say, what's up, brother? Mr. working with you. A good man indeed. Yup, undoubtedly, squeeze me. Not you, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, drop me a line. Let me know how things are going. Love to hear from you, bud. Next on the list, my man Kevin Sherman always gets a lot of shout outs on the show because he deserves it. He watches this show each and every day, watches it either on YouTube or on the old Facebook. And uh, he's living in Illinois and he is awesome. Knew him in England. And uh, I've gotten to know him even better online, and I will come to Illinois sometime down the road and hang out with you, hang out with my good Chicago media buddy, Johnny Vaughn, and get a lot of those great northern Midwest microbrews that I am salivating for, like Founders Breakfast Stout, for instance. God, I want my hands on that stuff. Mm. But Kev, I hope you have an awesome day, my man, and I hope you're doing well. I haven't heard from you much in a while, but I know you're having phone issues. Hopefully it's all good now. Next on the list, my man Rick Jones, my mother's cousin, therefore my cousin. Rick, dude, great playing the apps with you. Always a pleasure keeping in touch with you. And thank you, as always, for the great family updates that you work so hard to get. I certainly appreciate it. It keeps me in the loop with everything. But Rick, I just want to give you a shout out. Cheers and beers to you, my friend. You're an awesome guy. And uh, I hope to see you again down the road. Hey, you can get anywhere in the world in 24 hours or less. So if you ever pass through Yeehaw, Texas, know that Farrah and I will certainly welcome you here. And uh, I guarantee you'll get some of Farrah's world-famous amazing cooking. And that stuff is definitely food to die for. I promise you. All right. How about a shout-out to my man, Chad Haynes? 
And I haven't talked to, I mean, I talk to Chad fairly often. And I know Chad. Dude, you know I'm a diehard Sox fan. But I am so angry with this team this year. It makes me sick. $191 million payroll and a sub-500 record? Are you freaking kidding me? They got more talent on that team than the 2004 and 2007 World Series teams. I think they do. More talent, but that clubhouse atmosphere that has been dead for the past three years. And it's getting worse and worse. It's cancerous. It really is. I think it's time to blow the shit up, personally. I really do. I don't even fault Bobby V for it. Terry Francona, good on you, bud. I think he wanted out of there, and I don't blame him. He is happy. And, uh, dude, right now, I don't even think a crowbar can fix that team. I really don't. So you got you got to get rid of some crap. Some overpriced, underachieving players. Really disgusting. Time to build up from the ground up again. Hey, Yankees proved it. You can't sign all the superstars like they tried to do in the mid-2000s. Well, the Red Sox started trying to do that and didn't work. you got to have a mixture. A bunch of good young talent and some semi-stars. You don't need superstars. You just need stars that can play together. Kind of like the 2004 and 2007 uh, Red Sox teams. They had a lot of great uh, character guys, and that is what wins. Just like the Patriots. The Patriots used to, uh, they just had a good, solid team. No superstars. Brady was no unknown at the time. Had a bunch of bunch of quality guys that played great as a team. Then the Patriots started trying to get a lot of superstars. Notice they haven't won a uh, Super Bowl since. Hmm. Just thinking. And now they've made a lot of draft picks. I think they're starting to refocus on a defense like they used to have. Anyway, enough of that. So, I know, Chad, you're not a Patriots fan. Hey, nobody's perfect. At least you're a Red Sox fan. And I salute you for that, brother. And I love playing you with the Song Pop app. And I challenge each and every one of you out there. The application, Song Pop. I know a lot of music. And Chad can vouch for that. I know my music well. And uh, come face the nation of annihilation. God hates a coward. All right. And how about a shout out to a wonderful lady I have yet to meet in person. But we're fellow Mafia Wars players. And she is like totally awesome. Elaine Frizzell. I'm giving you a big cheers of beers because you are just ultra cool. And uh, I really hope someday we do get a meet in person because you are, you are awesome. And it's great having you as a mafia. Ad. All right. How about some random facts of the day? On this day in 1991, Estonia became independent from the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Yep. Happy anniversary. On this day in 1977, an amazing satellite launched. Voyager 2 launched. Now see, this was sent to discover Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Not my Uranus. Not your anus either. Uranus the planet, folks. And Neptune. And it did that. That thing lasted for years. And sent back lots of great pictures. On this day in 1975, Viking 1 launched to Mars. And they got a lot of good pictures as well. On this day in 1975... Gerald Ford assumed office as the 38th president of the United States of America. On this day in 1965, the Rolling Stones released a great song called Satisfaction. You know, I can't get no satisfaction. It became the first number one U.S. hit. I think it was number one. I know it was the first U.S. hit for certain. On this day in 1958, Dale Wong was the first Major League Baseball left-handed catcher in 56 years. Years or oh, 52 years, excuse me. Wow, how come we don't see a lot of left handed catchers in the major leagues? Why is that? I don't understand that. Little League, we had a left handed catcher, Zeb Tilton. I, I haven't forgotten him. Um, he was a couple years, he graduated in 1993, Martha's Vineyard Ridge High School. So, Zeb, if you're watching the show, big shout out to you, my man. I know you're not on the old Facebook. Love to track you down, love to hear from you. And I still haven't forgotten your birthday either. 12, 16, 74. That's right. All right. Um, on this day, 1949, Hungary adopted the con accepted the adopted the constitution. Communists at the time, they're no longer communists. Thank God. On this day, 1930, the Dumont Network, which went defunct in 1955. But they had their first ever television broadcast for home audiences in New York City. How about that? 
1930, television. On this day, 1925, WJR, Detroit Radio, first broadcast. <clears throat> Squeeze me. And this one's really cool. On this day, 1920, the very first United States commercial radio station began operation. WWJ, ironically, also in Detroit, Michigan. Birthdays for today. On this day, 1946. Um, NBC Nightly News reporter Connie Chung was born. On this day in 1944, former New York Yankee and San Diego Padre, Greg Nettles was born. Third baseman. I always found it ironic that he spelled it G-R-A-I-G. Different. 70 years ago today, if he was still alive, the late great Isaac Hayes was born. We modern folks remember him as chef on South Park, but those of us know him better as a man who sang the Shaft soundtrack. And he was a badass soul brother. Isaac Hayes, lots of great early 70s soul and funk music. Phenomenal stuff. On this day in 1935, popular politician Ron Paul was born. I did not know he's 77 years old. Holy smokes. He's old. No, he's not old. He's experienced. On this day in 1908, he lived to be 97 years old. Al Lopez was born. Former Major League Manager and Player. On this day in 1907, was, uh, Alan Reed was born. He's no longer alive. He passed away in like 1978. Who's Alan Reed, Dr. B? The voice of Fred Flintstone. That's right. And on this day in 1896, finally, the rotary phone was invented, was patented. The dial phone was patented. Wow. And it lasted for over 100 years. You don't see dial phones much anymore. There's a few around here and there, but not many. With that said, let's get to the movie of the day, and we're going back to 1991 for this one. And I know my man Kevin Sherman will love this. That's right, The Doors. And I'll tell you what, Val Kilmer played a hell of a damn good uh, Jim Morrison, I thought. In fact, it was so good, you didn't think of it as Val Kilmer playing Jim Morrison. You thought of him as Jim Morrison. Oliver Stone directed... Uh, Meg Ryan, Kyle McLaughlin, Frank Whaley, Kevin Dillon, and Billy Idol were also in the movie. 138 minutes long. Basically, documentary of the doors. Absolutely phenomenal movie. And it's got a booby shot of Meg Ryan. How cool is that? Wow, she's a hottie. She's 50 years old and still hot. And you know, my brother actually did the plumbing in her house on Martha's Vineyard Island. That's right, or well, Chappaquiddick Island, which is connected to Martha's Vineyard. But, uh... Yeah, he did the plumbing for Meg Ryan's house and installed her $21,000 worth of faucets. Pretty cool gig. And he said she was very, very nice, very down to earth. Not a surprise. Meg Ryan, you're gorgeous today. But you were really gorgeous when you were 29 years old in this one. All right. So let's get to the song of the day. And folks, have I got a treat for you because this one absolutely rocks. Going back to 1957. For this one. And the song is called Rocket by Joe Bennett in the Spikle Tones. And trust me, you'll understand how badass this song is when you hear it. All about it's a definitely a space age type of rock and roll tune. We need to turn that up. I forgot to turn it back up. If it comes up. That's better. Still gotta work out the technical difficulties of yours truly. So I have, because I don't want to have the title song, it, you know, my my uh, intro song, that loud, but. This part is all about the music. This is the song of the day. Rocket, Joe Bennett and the Spikle Tones, 1957. What a great instrumental break, huh? I'll drink to that. Good beer. 
take the ship. What a rocket. What a rocket. This beer is so damn smooth, folks. Remember, 1957, the U.S. was all about getting into the space age. And then look at episode of the Twilight Zone, 1959 to 64. From 1957 on up through 1972, we were nuts about space. Ooh, a big gulp. Ooh. Empty as the brain cells of an average Yankee fan. Yeah, I know. We lost two or three to you, Yankees. It's all right. The Red Sox bring out the best in everybody these days. It's just the way it is. 20 more days until Patriots football, baby. That's right. And I can't wait. Believe me. All right, folks. You know what time it is, right? Yep, it's that time. It's time to make like a fetus and head out so everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady, Manning, or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. I'm out of here. See y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.